Three ways to know that your team are burning out. Now you might have the best team in the world. They might be engaged, they might be inspired by you, they might be really hard working, but the moment one or more become burnt out, what you end up with is a team that are unhappy, demotivated, unproductive, and it might have an issue on your retention. So just before I get into the detail of this, I'd just like to remind you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So here are three signs to look out for to recognize that your team are burning out. Number one, one of the easiest ways to identify if your team are burnt out is that if their usual behaviors are completely different. And what I mean by that is that when somebody's burnt out, that means that their stress levels are normally through the roof. So as a result, they've got this high level of cortisol and adrenaline flying around the body, which is obviously going to induce the fight, flight, or freeze response. And this is obviously going to induce different emotions. Now, when somebody has got high levels of stress, cortisol and adrenaline running around the body, they will be reacting in a way based on how they feel. It's almost like an animalistic reaction as opposed to logical and rational thinking reactions. So if somebody's living in a fight, flight or freeze, the types of signs that you'll be looking out for are things like irritability, much shorter patience, maybe getting angry in the office. Maybe they're completely shut down and they're withdrawn and you don't feel that you can reach them. Alternatively, maybe they have a really high level of emotional reactivity. Maybe they're a bit teary or much more sensitive to things that happen or things that are said to them. So again, these are the easiest things to spot because we're talking about something that is completely different and I don't mean as a one-off. I mean as a consistent pattern compared to the usual type of behavior in how they normally operate in the office and in your team. So additionally, on top of having heightened emotions or irritability, or complete withdrawal, there'll be other signs that you'll be able to identify as well. For example, maybe they're having massive issues with their memory. People who are burnt out often have memory loss or difficulty in recalling things. Another type of example is when people get confused easily and they find it really hard to make an easy decision, let alone the more difficult decisions. Now, if your team are struggling to make decisions that are seemingly on paper very straightforward, then this is normally another massive warning sign. Or maybe they've just become really disorganized when normally they're very organized. I'm talking about getting meetings wrong, getting timing wrong, turning up for the wrong thing on the wrong day. Just almost like they're not behaving in the organized fashion that you're used to seeing. And finally, this can also include their physical appearance as well. How do they look? Do they look like they're sleep deprived? Do they look like they're stressed? Do they smell? What's their hygiene like? How are they dressed compared to normal? These are classic signs of people not able to look after themselves or unable to sleep because their brain is too busy. So maybe you start realizing or feeling that one of your team or team members has had a complete personality transplant. That's normally a sign that something is majorly off. And I repeat, I don't mean as a one-off, I mean as a consistent pattern compared to the previous behaviors in the team and in the office. Number two, have a look at their performance and how it has changed in recent weeks. Now, for example, maybe somebody is working really, really, really hard to get the same level of performance that they normally get. So although that on paper, their results don't look actually that different, if you notice that they're having to work extra hard in order to attain them, then this is normally a sign that somebody's feeling the need to overcompensate, probably because they're not firing on all cylinders, because when somebody's burnt out, their energy levels are lower, and they just can't operate their brain with the same capacity. So therefore they have to work harder and more hours just to get the same results. This again is a massive red flag. Alternatively, maybe somebody's actually working exactly the same hours and they're actually coming and going and taking the same breaks as they normally do, but their performance has dropped. This again is a massive key indicator that something isn't right because if you've got a history with this person, you'll know what they're normally capable of and you'll know how they normally operate. And if all these things suddenly start seeming off, whether it's about overworking to maintain the head above the water, or maybe their work is just dropping from being the same person that they normally are, that's normally a key indicator as well. Number three, look at the hours in which they're working. Are you noticing that their hours have suddenly rocketed? Are, are they getting into work earlier? Are they not taking many breaks? Are they working through their lunch? Are they staying late? Are they taking work home with them? Are they working the weekends? If somebody's hours are rocketing, even if they're not feeling burnt out at that stage, you can pretty much guarantee they're heading into a place of burnout because that simply isn't sustainable. If somebody's already working a healthy 40, 50, at a stretch, 60 hours, but anybody starts working 60 and above 70, 80 or more, that is not sustainable and you will end up with a burnt out team member or team. 
Alternatively, maybe their hours have changed by being reduced. Maybe they're just loathing coming to the office. Maybe they're turning up later. Maybe they're taking more breaks. Maybe they're taking more frequent breaks. Maybe they're taking a longer lunch break. And maybe they're leaving a little bit early. Or maybe they're just simply leaving bang on time when they used to stay a little bit later in order to get their work done. So it's almost as if somebody has become disengaged and less connected with the work that they're doing. Again, if this is out of character for that person, then this is reason for concern. Now, I'm also going to chuck in a Brucey bonus fourth point as well. Now, to be able to recognize that there's a difference in your team, you have to look out for everything that I've mentioned, whether it's through from their, their delivery and their performance and how they're operating, their emotional status. Are they withdrawn? Are they reactive? Are they forgetful? How are the hours? How is their performance? Are they dropping? Is it going up? There's all these different things to pay attention to. However, one of the things that I feel that leaders do get wrong is that they focus purely on the output and the delivery of their team. Now, if somebody is going through something, for all you know, it could be a divorce, it could be a bereavement, it could be that somebody is feeling unable to say, I need some help. I'm feeling stressed at the moment. Maybe they feel overwhelmed. It maybe isn't burnout, but they're just completely saturated with thoughts. Maybe they're feeling embarrassed by the fact that they're not able to come forward and simply say, I can't do this work, and they're worried about being shamed or criticized or feeling like they might be looking weak or incompetent or unprofessional, whatever the thing is. Now, it's important and imperative as you, as the leader, that you make a safe space for that person in order to open up. And if you're solely focused on their performance and their results, then where I believe that leaders get it wrong is that they come down on them so hard like a ton of bricks and literally just reprimand them in order to get better results. Now, all that does is add extra weight onto this particular staff member, basically making all those symptoms more likely to get worse. That person is basically heading for disaster. They're either going to come off with sick leave or they're going to be leaving that job in the future. Not everything to a manager is purely about delivery. So it's very important that you sit down with a level of empathy and ask them, I'm noticing there's a change in you. I'm a bit worried about you. This isn't the normal caliber that I'm used to with you. And I'm actually worried what's going on because I know how good you're capable of being. Is there anything you need to share with me? Is there anything that we need to know? This is all in complete confidence. Whatever it is that you need to say to them by simply being so focused on their delivery and their output isn't going to be helpful for them. By approaching it with an empathy like a human being and you're actually trying to connect with them and creating a safe space for them to have that conversation with you, you're much more able to reach some mutual understanding and a solution to whatever the problem may be for them. But of course, these are just my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Comment down below and let me know what type of experiences that you've had with you've noticed that your team are burning out. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for all future content. And other than that, have a good day. Cheers.